doing a summer saison. Um, cause it's close to summer here in San Diego. So, um, essentially it's gonna be another fruit-based saison. Um, so it's gonna be around six, seven gallon batch. So for the grains, we're gonna be using um, five pounds of Pilsner, uh, three pounds of the white wheat, and one pound of the Bonneliter Munich 10L. And then for now, the, uh, the hops are gonna be uh, two ounces, Fuggles in the big, or not Fuggles, but Northern Brewer in the beginning oil. Uh, two ounces of Centennial, two ounces of, or one ounce of Citra, one ounce of El Dorado in like the last like 10 15 minutes of it. And then for the yeast, we're gonna be using uh, the WLP uh, White Labs um, that I've made like a starter for and like I've essentially used it from the past couple batches. Um, so the fruit that we're actually going to add is going to be um, loquats and apricots. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. So essentially, um, out of the fruit, we're going to make like a puree, and then from there, going to wait like four or five days after they're like kind of like the first go of fermentation, and then add um, the fruit puree. Like put it in a bag and then add it to the same primary fermenter and then let, let it all kind of go for like two weeks um, and then after two weeks then we'll bottle it um, and then uh, should be a should be a good beer do to do all right so we're back here <laughs> at the ballast point home brew mart playing with kettles no just kidding um, we're actually Don't here. Mind me. <laughs> I'm just starting the the racking process. <laughs> so we're actually here to uh, buy some grain uh, for the brew day that we're actually doing uh, tomorrow. So, like I said a little bit ago, so we're doing a, a fruit-based saison. Um, so let's <laughs> so let's start getting the grain. Um, yeah, let's start getting the grain that we need. And the uh, our measuring device, our Absolutely. poundage device. I already read the menu, the <laughs> ingredients list. Now we just gotta find it. Oh, right in the <laughs> right in the area. Right in the grain bill. Right in the grain bill. We have to do that. Oh, Bonanda. One day we shall all go to Bonlander. <laughs> Very good, beautiful place. So Bonlander is a bready sweet American Munich malt made in the style of classic European malsters. This malt is a great addition to porters and brown ales and we can use as a base for especially multi finished beers. But we're doing a saison. It's fucking delicious, that's why. Why oh, you need sunglasses? We're inside. And it's nighttime, so. <laughs> mm. Mm, it's very, uh, actually it's not terribly malty. It tastes kind of like rice. Rice wood with a little bit of a weedy mist to it. I know it's very vague, but almost like a popcorn kind of quality. No, it's not from the husk, it's from the, it's from the actual malt. Mm -hmm. But boiled and mashed can probably yield a terribly different flavor. Yeah. Terribly wonderful different. So we just need one pound of that. One pound and... Let's see. Yeah, it almost looks about a pound. I think it might be a little shy, but who knows. Oh, all over. Oh, wow. Got there. there we go. Exactly one pound? Looks like one pound to me. There you go. Wait, wait. So now we need white wheat, so three pounds of it. Um, I think it's on the other side. We shall find the white wheat. <laughs> the white wheat. Could be wrong. Could be wrong, I don't know. 
I haven't been here in a minute. Oh, let's go, white wheat. White wheat? Why are you saying it, it weird? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just saying white wheat. Say wheat then. We need white wheat. <laughs> Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? <laughs> Say white, white. Say, Say wheat, wheat, wheat. There you go. Say white wheat, white wheat. Oh, we need the scooper again, DRV. Scoop. Ah, oh, my, my scooper. My friends, thank you for the scooping. Three pounds, right? Yeah, three pounds of the white wheat. That's one and a half. Ooh. Two scoopins is like all we need. Boom. Oh yeah. Three pounds right there. One wine, fine pounds. I was about to pour it straight on the ground. <laughs> all right, I got you. My man. Grain dust. Don't breathe this. Just drink it. <laughs> Just drink it. Nate's gonna show us the big boy. Yes, yeah, so now we need the five pounds of US Pilsner. I think it's on this side. Yeah, that's it. I'll bring it. There we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes, the good stuff. Green. Alrighty. Uh, let's go get a crushing now. A crushing we will go. A crushing we will go. Crushing we will go. Cool. Say hello to the east, of course. Oh, yeah. Gotta get a, get a shout out. Ugh. Here we go. Time to uh, we're gonna do a double grind on this. Safety first, safety third, right? As we wait, he dances while I contemplate life. Mm. Philosophical things. Absolutely. What new beer? Should I make over the summer? Or beers? That's contemplation right there. Alcoholic beer. Yes, alcoholic beer. The best kind. Yeah, not, not for alcoholics, but one that. Tastiness. It'll appease them as well. Exactly. <laughs> Tastiness. Goodness. Goodness is happening. It's in the process right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, we heard the sound. We heard the emptiness. There we and go. she's empty. <laughs> That's what she said. That's exactly what she said. So let's get this double grind in. Nice and dusty. As it should be. There we go. So us what you're doing down there, Nate. Hey? How's that uh, so we're just putting a bag here, you know, until it catches the grain, so shit doesn't go everywhere, because it's pretty obvious. <laughs> so we're under the mill, catching in the chute. There's the chute. Oh, gotta, gotta close this. <laughs> exactly. Safety third. Yeah, safety third. Like I said, we're doing a double mill. Uh, get more of a finer mill on it. Cool. And then we got coral over here. Coming in hot. While we yeah. wait, we drink. Cheers to you guys. Woo! Hell yeah. 
I'll take that. <laughs> Clink. Cheers. Mm. Sounds like it's done. All right, so this is kind of what a, a double mill looks like. Kind of flowery here and there. Which, since you do BI, if you do BIB, you want to get a lot of efficiency. So that's kind of how you get the efficiency out of it. So now all I just got to do is just tape it up, and then we're good. I would say we we would need to buy hops and buy yeast, but I already have a bunch of hops and I already have a bunch of yeast saved up from pre previous batches, so saving money, you know? Absolutely, bro. I mean, you can't go wrong with saving money. I know, don't ever let the, the wife say, hey, I'm so happy we're, that we're saving money with the home brewing thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Man and his child. Cool, so we're just finishing up the uh, kind of brew mart day here at Bells Point Brew Mart. Uh, so this place is pretty cool. If you didn't know, if you're uh, located in San Diego, you should definitely check them out. Uh, you can get a lot of like, you can get, either get your grains, your hops, your yeast, or like pretty much, pretty much anything. It's a home brew mart. Pretty cool place. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty much finishing up uh, the grains and all that. We're getting everything ready. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna be getting everything ready for uh, tomorrow's or next day's brew day. And uh, so, make sure you stay tuned. Um, we'll have that video ready soon, so, later.